So before we get started, please don't click the first link in the description. Hello and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this one, we will be making BB-8 from Star Wars. So without further ado, let's get started. Start by selecting the default cube and adding a subdivision surface modifier. Turn the level up to 4 for the viewport and the render. And shade smooth. Now press 3 to tap into front view and add in a reference image. I have, I have this BB-8 reference image that I'll link down in the description below. Just align the reference image up with the already existing cube. Move the reference image back a bit. Now press Shift-A and add in a UV sphere. Move the sphere up on the z-axis and scale it down. Tap into edit mode and delete half of the vertices. Now align the half sphere with the head on the reference image. In edit mode, select the bottom row of faces and move them down a bit and extrude them on the z-axis a bit and scale them down. And now you can go ahead and add in a subdivision surface modifier. Select this edge loop and press Ctrl B to bevel it slightly. And you can also just go ahead and add in a face to the bottom one. And also bevel the bottom face. Now for the camera thingy on the front, duplicate the head and rotate it and move it forward a bit to like have a better look at it then rotate on y axis by 90 degrees and scale it down then tap into edit mode select one of these edges press shift d to duplicate the edge and p and then separate by selection now select the edge that we just separated and tap into edit mode select the whole edge then extrude the edges on the x-axis, like so. Move the bottom edges a bit more back, like so. Select all of the faces and scale it up a bit. Now select the edges on the bottom and add in a face and press Ctrl-B to bevel it slightly. And now go ahead and add in a solidified modifier to the ring around the bowl. Turn up the thickness a lot. Now you can go ahead and select these two edges and pre press H to hide them. Also make sure to hide these vertices as well. And then select these vertices and then just move them back a bit. And maybe set the follow mode to invert square. And now press Alt H to bring back everything and there, there we have the camera. Now I can select these two objects and place them on BB-8 where the reference has them as well. So just enable wireframe mode and then just move it up and rotate it. Now go ahead and duplicate the outer ring by pressing shift D and move it out a bit. Now when you have the ring selected um, Tap into edit mode and select the outer edge and then set the transform orientations to normal and then press scale and then Y. Make sure to disable proportional editing before and then press scale and Y and then zero. And now disable the solidify modifier so it's easier to work with. Select this face and inset it, extrude it and then scale it in a bit and then extrude it again. Select this edge right here and press Ctrl B and bevel it. Then select this face and move it down a bit actually. And then select this um, loop of faces and then press Alt E and extrude faces along normals. And extrude the faces like so. And then just extrude this face a bit more. Then select all of these edge loops like so. And then press Ctrl B to bevel them all. And if you want to, like, you can move this edge right here on the z-axis, which will make it maybe look a bit nicer. You can also select all of these faces, which will, like, probably make it look a bit nicer. Disable the all of the modifiers to make it a bit easier to work with. Select all of these faces. And... And once you're done selecting them all, 
press sh scale and then shift and Z to like make them thinner. Then you can select this edge loop and then press I for inset and then press I again to s enable individual. Then press Alt E, extrude faces along, no along normals and scale it up a bit. Do the same thing for this part here. And yeah. And then enable solidify modifier. Actually, actually what we'll do is select this part, all of these outer edges, outer faces, sorry. And then And then press P and separate selection. And then for this one, we'll just cut off the solidify modifier. And for this one, we'll enable it again, like so. And then just enable the subdivisions. Or actually, let it just be off with this one. And then just press Shade Smooth. Then under this menu, enable Outer Smooth. Yeah, and then just like these two, and place them where the where it's on the reference too. So yeah, that's it for modeling. Okay, so now for the texturing, um, I'll just split these areas and I'll make this one the shader editor. Now I'm gonna press N to like move this panel out of the way. And then I'm gonna add in all of the BB-8 textures. All of the links will be down in the description for like the texture. There should be four textures, two for the body and two for the head. I'm just gonna add in the body ones right now. So it's gonna be a displacement one and a texture one so add them both in and i'm gonna switch my view to look that view then i'm gonna plug the color of the texture into the base color and if you look at it right now it's like it looks good enough but it's like a bit like it's not aligned properly and that's because of the uv editing so we need to like uv map it probably properly so i'm gonna split these areas and it's like the uv editor for the top one then I'm gonna select the main body and then tap into edit mode and ha press A to select all of the faces. I've already played around with it a bit, but yeah, all you need to do is press U and then smart UV project and then press OK. It will automa automatically like adjust the, t um, it will automatically UV, UV unwrap it according to the texture. Okay, for the displacement, it's pretty simple. I'll just plug the color output of this into the displacement input right here. And you'll see that there are some lines where the, where the um, texture is, and that's pretty nice. Now, for the head texture, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to press new, and then I'm going to add in the head textures. The, those will also be included in the same folder down in the description. That will be do. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna add them in one by one, like so. Then plug the color right in right here, and then tap into editor mode with this. Press A to see all of this, and then like you can see that it is kind of aligned correctly, but not completely again. So you can see like this, like this form right here is right above the camera. So we can align it like so that the camera is right there that this one also needs to be a bit bigger so scale into shift c like so and yeah and i'm also gonna add the displacement like the other one to the color output here to the displacement input okay let's do the textures for the camera so the camera the camera is actually pretty simple it's just like a really reflective black material so what I'll do is to add a new material and then turn the color n to near black and then turn the me metallic and specular values up to 0.7 and then the roughness down to like 0.15 and then I'm gonna add a new material to like the outer ring that's also gonna be a color near black but a bit more grayish than the camera itself and then the roughness needs to be a bit low but not as low so probably at like 8.3 that looks pretty good and yeah 
I'll apply the same materials to this one. So this one gets the really reflective one. Oops, the other material. And then the other ring gets the other not so reflective black material. And yeah, there we have like all of the materials for BB-8. And actually, now we also need some antennas at the top. So press Shift A and add in a cylinder. Move the cylinder up on the Z axis and enable X review. Like so. And then scale the cylinder down a lot. And then move it over like in the where the antenna is in the reference. Then press S and then Shift C to make it a bit thinner. Then scale it up on Z axis. And yeah. And then tap into edit mode. Actually, let's scale it down a bit more on the Z axis. Then tap into edit mode. Select the top faces, move them up a bit. Then press E to extrude them. And then press 3 to enable um, face selection. And then select the middle row of faces and press Alt E and extrude faces along normals. Like so. And now duplicate. Select this, um, this cylinder and duplicate it, and then move it over here. Actually, I'm just gonna delete the top part of this. All of this needs. I'll just delete that. Delete vertices, and then extrude it on the z-axis, and then move it a bit over. Add a loop cut right here. And then select these faces, Alt E, extrude face along normals. Select all of these faces, and these like the top face, and press I. Actually, before we do that, press Control A and apply all the scale and uh, and apply the scale. Then tap back into Edpo, press I, and inset the selection. And then press Alt E, extrude face along normals, and extrude them out of it. Then select the top face, extrude it on the Z axis, and scale it down. And that's like the basic antennas for BB-8. So we don't need any materials for the antennas as they're pretty small and like don't require that much detail. 